reports on threatening weather by calling 1-900-WEATHER, 95 cents a minute. Now here's the tropical update. Well, today is the very first day of the Atlantic hurricane season, and we're going to be bringing you a complete update on the tropics just about this time every hour throughout the hurricane season. First of all, we want to show you the list of names for this year, going all the way from Andrew to Walter. And the farthest down the line we've ever been in the Atlantic is the end storm, which would be Nicole this year, and we hope that we don't get that far. In any case, we don't see anything out there today. The story in the Atlantic uh, is the depression, which now is on shore, if you haven't uh, tuned in earlier and, and, and heard us say that. But anyway, what this means is showers and thunderstorms today will be locally heavy from Tampa on up to Daytona Beach and on, and on off to the points to the east. We can put the infrared picture back in motion. I wanted to show you that visible because you can see the low-level circulation. You can't see anything with, with the infrared picture, so that's why that's such a valuable tool to, to the meteorologist. And you can see all this thunderstorm activity offshore here and all this stuff is bubbling and working its way onshore to the coastal sections. Now we've taken the infrared and colored the heavier thunderstorms. The first batch is moving out, next batch is developing and moving onshore, and we are continuing to watch these counties here for some major... No, but don't be alarmed. It's a good ways out here, 285 miles south, southeast of Bermuda. Top winds just 35 miles an hour, moving toward the west at 7, and it's 1,000 miles or a little better away from Florida. Now this, I don't think, is going to get organized very much at all in the next 24 hours. We don't really expect to see it increase. What's been happening has been undergoing a whole lot of what we call north Look at the latest facts and figures here. They are 20 miles east-southeast of Miami. Again, this will be updated. It seems like the eye is making a landfall right now. It's still moving west at 18 miles per hour, and the Air Force Reconnaissance aircraft is still investigating the area, and it is still showing that Hurricane Andrew has not lost any strength. It is pretty much maintaining its strength for the like time the being. The hardest hit area from Hurricane Andrew will be South Miami down to around Florida City, Cutler Ridge right about in the center, already around Elliott Key and Sands Key. It seems like the eye is now making landfall. It's moving through Biscayne Bay and over to around Cutler Ridge. Watch this radar here. You see a little bit of a darker red here. That is an extremely high wind there. Could easily be well over 140 miles per hour and that gust as this storm makes its way right on into Biscayne Here's Bay. Here's the latest satellite photograph, and again showing the cold cloud tops here. It's not a radar, just showing the most intense thunderstorms. This is a very well-organized storm system, and you can see the eye just about ready to make uh, landfall there, and it should emerge off the west coast later this afternoon. Then again, we're going to be watching it as it makes a curve farther to the north, and eventually it's going to take a, probably a day and a half to two days, but up toward North Central Gulf Coast sometime near Wednesday. Well, we're getting pretty busy here in the Atlantic. We have uh, tropical depression, a hurricane, a tropical storm. We'll detail each one of those for you. This is Hurricane Bonnie, centered uh, 610 miles due south now of Cape Race, Newfoundland. And then farther out in the Atlantic, we have a new storm. This is Tropical Storm Charlie, just named this morning, 560 miles south-southwest of the Azores and moving toward the north-northwest at six miles and an here, hour. Here you see the two of them. This is Charlie and this is Bonnie, and Charlie looks as if it's intensifying, I might say that, and very likely on the next advisory, which will be out at 5 p.m., we'll find out that it has strengthening. But closer to home, and of more concern, we have a tropical depression. This also appears to be developing and doing so fairly rapidly. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at the Weather Channel. We're at the update desk with it John. It's a very well-defined center. Now, we want to emphasize it's not an eye like we have in a hurricane, and consequently, we have some of the stronger winds well out to the north. It appears to be moving, the best we can tell, right straight north. It's going to be going a beam of uh, Virginia Beach here pretty soon. It looks as if it would go right over the Del Marva Peninsula and right into Delaware Bay eventually. And as a consequence, as you know, the warnings, tropical storm warnings, have been extended northward, and you're going to detail those in just a moment. Let's show you that radar, too. And it has a very nice image on radar. As well. And there you see where the circulation center is, certainly very well defined. Here you see the, uh, the spiral bands feeding into the circulation center as it moves right straight toward the north. So it's just going to be hugging West the coast Philadelphia. here. 
This ridge of high pressure is still a strong one to the north and some onshore winds here, although tropical storm warnings now all have been discontinued. Here's a satellite picture showing Danielle and we can show you a radar picture there too and hopefully put that into motion for you. Notice the rain still streaming into Connecticut. Some of this rain heavy over Long Island and across through Connecticut. We expect the possibility of a couple of inches of rain in some of those upslope regions. That isn't getting much better organized. It still has a possibility possibility, we think, of being a minimal tropical storm, but it is moving north out over the open water, so it's not going to be any threat to this side of the ocean. Uh, tropical storm Earl is now centered at 29.6 north, 74.8 west, and that's now about roughly 630 miles to the west-southeast, uh, west-southwest of Bermuda. the latest picture of it, and the circulation center is still a little bit near the edge of this uh, heavy thunderstorm area, but uh, there is a possibility, we think, that this could increase some. There will be another reconnaissance aircraft out there at about... Uh when you're away from your TV, get detailed tropical updates by calling 1-900-WEATHER. Now the tropical update. We now have the sixth tropical storm of the season out in the Atlantic, but don't worry about it here in the United States. It is out here centered about 305 miles now about due southeast of Bermuda. out there in that low pressure area that we were telling you about yesterday. And there it is on the satellite picture this morning, centered right about here at the southeast tip of all these showers and thunderstorms, which means that the heaviest ones are off to the west. That's indicative of a little bit of shear. So for that reason, we don't think it's going to develop very rapidly. Now the top winds are 40 miles an hour. We think perhaps it might increase over the next day or two to 55 to 60 miles per hour.